look, man, we got some more stuff. Look, because I got a side note here. And, and I'm really thinking for the first time in a long time, and maybe even ever, <laughs> the Atlanta Falcons will have a solid defense. And I love this because, you know, they finished in the bottom half of scoring on defense for the sixth year in a row now. But they also added some more pieces to help out the defense. Now, we all know Matthew Judon is the latest addition to the defense, four-time all-pro pass rusher. And then they also added Justin Simmons, who's an all-pro safety. And these newer additions are going to make an immediate impact on this Atlanta Falcons defense. Because not only did they already have pieces, but they're still doing work to bring in new guys who are going to have even more of an impact on that defense. And icing on the cake of it all, is the fact that Raheem Morris, the head coach, is a defensive-minded coach. Let's not forget, he took the Los Angeles Rams to the Super Bowl. He helped them secure the win in the Super Bowl in 2021, in that 2021 season. So you, you got to keep in mind, this guy knows what he's doing. He's been around some great, talented defensive players and some defensive-minded guys, and him being a defensive-minded guy is going to really help them out. So now that they've added all of these pieces on a defensive end, They've grown to be one of the best defensive teams in the NFC. And honestly, they are the best defensive unit in the secondary in the NFC. There's not a defensive back group that's better than the Atlanta Falcons right now in this conference. Because if you go down the line of who's back there going to be ball hawking the ball, you got Justin Simmons, all pro. You got uh, uh, you got um, Jesse Bates. Another guy who should have been all pro, but Jesse Bates, he was an animal last year because he was second in solo tackles at his position, top 10 in tackles in the NFL last year, second in interceptions at his position, top three in the NFL last year. So we know what kind of heat that Jesse Bates is going to bring to the, to the uh, field. And then even if you look at the cornerbacks, A.J. Terrell, Mike Hughes at the corner, those guys are locking down. It's going to be very interesting, and it's it's almost obvious at this point that there's nobody else in the NFC that has a secondary that's near the level of the Atlanta Falcons right now. And I know usually this is the last thing we talk about with the Falcons is, oh, look at the defense they have. Look at the defense. But, I mean, you can't help but to notice. And, I mean, out of the, the nine of the 18 games they lost last year, they lost by less than five points. That's more than half of the games that they played. They lost by less than five points. So I can't help but to think a little tweak in adding guys to every level on the defense, the defensive line, the linebacker unit, and the secondary. Of course, of course, they're going to bring home a couple of extra games. I can't, I would be silly not to think so. So, you know, it's, it's going to be cool to watch them. And, and you know, with all these changes, I, I really have some high hopes for the Atlanta Falcons. Obviously, I talked about last week them winning their division, and I still think that can be the case with the Atlanta Falcons winning that division. Um, but we'll really see, you know, when these guys get on the field and, and see how everything holds up. Because obviously you got to worry about injuries, knock on wood. You know, you want to make sure everybody's healthy and so on. But, you know, September 8th, Pittsburgh Steelers, Atlanta Falcons. We'll be seeing who really wins that game. We'll be seeing how the Atlanta Falcons look on both ends of the ball. But I'm predicting the Falcons to win, of course, because... Mainly, Steelers still don't even know who their quarterback is. They're trying to figure it out. And, you know, I'll touch a little bit more on that, you know, as we move on through the show. We got some news, a little bit of recap, and then we'll touch on the Steelers figuring out who's going to be their starting quarterback between Russell Wilson and former Bears quarterback Justin Fields. We'll be right back. It's halftime. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 